everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about permanent residency options for bakers and pastry cooks here in Australia. don't know me my name is Tracy Chen and I'm the principal lawyer at Mason Chen Law Group if you want to get in contact with myself or one of our fabulous lawyers or agents our contact link is below send us an email and we will be in touch now you may have seen in my last video that chefs have been invited for permanent residency in Australia and lots of skilled visa options and employer visa options as well it is the same for cooks and pastry cooks although they're a little bit different in occupation and they are on different occupation lists so chefs are on the medium term occupation list whereas cooks pastry cooks bakers are on the short-term occupation list however they are still eligible for permanent residency under the skilled nominated 190 visa so there are a little bit less options but looking at the recent invitation rounds and our clients that have been invited it's totally possible do check the occupation so everybody's different you could be a pastry cook you could be a baker you could be a cook so depending on the occupation go check out which occupation list it falls under and that will help you determine what visa you can apply for I have done many videos on the 491 and the 190 visa so do go check it out now also just before we get started I want to mention that I have released mini courses for anyone who wants to do a little workshop on Australian migration there's tons of different subjects in there from tourist visas to graduate visas to student visas to skilled visas so go and check it out the link is below so cooks and pastry cooks and bakers I'm gonna put them kind of into one video because the requirements are a little bit different so in Australia chefs are kind of one level higher than the cooks, pastry cooks and bakers and that is evident in the qualifications. So in Australia generally speaking cooks have a certificate of four or diploma or higher. In Australia for bakers, cooks and pastry cooks they generally just need a certificate three so it's a little bit different. Now in today's video we'll kind of talk about the kind of two cohorts of applicants then we'll look at the visa options that are available for them. So generally speaking in Australia people come to Australia study certificate three and then to get a skills assessment as a cook it will depend so if you come to Australia to study it's a little bit rare that you'll come to Australia and just study a certificate three most people will come to Australia and study the certificate three four and diploma because only then you are eligible for the 485 visa which is the graduate work visa which allows you to work and gain the experience you need to apply for a skills assessment but most of the people who have done that you will probably see on their skills assessment that they have a skills assessment as a chef and a cook so it's two on that skills assessment and most of the time people will go for the chef option because it is on the medium term occupation list so therefore there is more visa pathways available for it however look I have had plenty of people apply as cook as well I think it also comes down to what job you do so chefs their role in the kitchen is very different to cooks chefs are kind of leaders of the kitchen they design the menu they lead they train staff they supervise whereas cooks are kind of on the ground preparation of food and not so much involved with the innovative side of it so that's something to consider but if that's the case and you've got your skills assessment you will be able to apply for the 491 the skilled regional work visa which is a five-year temporary regional visa you have to live and work in regional Australia for at least three years and then you can potentially look at applying for the 191 visa the other option is to apply for the skilled nominated 190 visa now a lot of people have recently been invited for this in New South Wales specifically so that's your Sydney region we had cooks who were invited for the 190 visa at 70 points so that would be 65 plus 5 points from the state so really you only need 65 points so it's pretty awesome now if you are from overseas yes you can still apply for this 190 and 491 visa but it just depend at what point you'll be eligible for a skills assessment because all skilled visas in Australia require a skills assessment so generally speaking so you need to at least have a minimum of certificate three and three years of full-time work experience as a cook now if you do have that you potentially could submit your documentation for a skills assessment assessment with vet assess they'll assess it they'll also do a workplace assessment most probably to assess your skills and if you do qualify they can give you a full skills assessment as a cook now using that document plus your English is what you need to make an expression of interest to be invited for permanent residency in Australia now this part is completely different to the expression of interest part go check out my other videos in relation to applying for expression of interest things to be aware of and you know points you can and cannot claim but today I just wanted to talk about
about you know what the basic requirements kind of look like there is also bakers and pastry cooks so they are also occupations on the short-term occupation list and it would be very similar so certificate three plus three years of full-time work experience that work experience does not have to be post qualification it can be at any time you will be eligible for a skills assessment if you don't have a qualification and you want to apply for the skills assessment you generally need five years of full-time work experience to apply for a skills assessment now it's important to mention that this I'm just talking about the skilled visa options so your 491 and your 190 visa now if you don't qualify so you don't have enough work experience you could look at the employer sponsored visa options so you need three years of full-time work experience in low of your qualifications to be able to be sponsored so if you don't have any qualifications you just need three years full-time work experience depending on your country of passport and where you are at the moment you probably need a skills assessment but then if you do have that you could be eligible for the 482 employer sponsored visa now that visa does not lead to permanent residency but at least it gets you to Australia you can start working as a cook and then you can continue to gain your work experience so that you can apply for the skilled nominated 190 visa or the 491 or the 494 those are some of the visa options that you can consider I'll put in the caption below links to all these different visa types so you can have a look at now if you are in Australia and you are working as a cook so the states that are inviting cooks and pastry cooks and bakers to apply for the 190 visa so for PR which is what everybody wants right that I've seen are Western Australia New South Wales Queensland Northern Territory as well as Tasmania I really haven't seen 190 invitations for cooks in Victoria and South Australia and someone asked me about this yesterday if you look on the Victoria website in relation to 491s and 190 visas it clearly says that occupations in hospitality such as cook chefs and restaurant managers etc are prioritized under the 491 so they're not really prioritized for the 190 visa so those are the kind of things to be aware of if you're looking to apply as a cook here in Australia now do remember the job duties are very different to chef like as I previously mentioned so if you are unsure have a look at your position description are you kind of designing the menu consulting with the restaurant manager consulting with the owners of the business leading the kitchen doing training and development and making sure occupation health and safety is up to scratch those are the things to be aware of whereas a cook is kind of you know someone who assists in preparation cooking preparation of meats vegetables sources all that a little bit less on the innovation and leadership side for those who are interested in employer sponsorship so for example you are overseas and you have like stacks of work experience as a cook we do have employers here in Australia that are looking to employ skilled workers from overseas especially chefs and cooks so I put our recruitment email below if you are someone that is interested send your resume through we will be in contact and we may be able to connect you with an Australian employer we will also be able to assist with the visa the side of things so don't worry about that we've got you now there has been so many invitation rounds for skilled visas in the recent months like we haven't stopped like my team members are kind of like yeah you know they've lodged something and then more invites come in they're like oh my god when is this ever gonna stop there is just so much action at the moment and I think you'll see from you know different articles you know speeches from the Prime Minister it's kind of all hinting that Australia needs more skilled workers so this is the skilled migrant era and I can't say this enough I say this to my employees all the time you have to be in it to win it I know in the last two years it was difficult there was so much uncertainty you hear this you hear that people say this people say that but you really have to be in it to win it if you have the qualifications if you have the means if you have the English whatever put an application in honestly you never know in the recent invitation rounds we've seen so many accountants be invited and who would have guessed that accountants can even be invited it's crazy to think so so if anything from this video today I want to just say you really you really got to be in it to win it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching and if you like that, please don't forget to share it with your friends and family. I'll see you guys in the next video.